all right now we come to the format method okay the format method or the string method format okay so I'm gonna write it out here hash the string method format okay this is the method which we need to use at all times in order in order to be very clear about what we are formatting and how we are doing so okay but is it a I mean of course when we are doing this uh, and when we are using the format method uh, this is not the only way but this is the best way or the Pythonic way of representing it okay but what can we get some help with regards to the format method can we get some help is it possible so I can write here as I told you I can write the help function I can just say okay I want to have some help about the format Okay, it says format and it says value comma format spec. Okay, it does not give me much information about how to use the format. So the help method is not a very useful thing with regards to this particular format option. But let's understand if we can if we can make some sense as we go ahead. Okay, so the same particular Okay, the same particular thing. How will I use, how will I show this using the format method? Now, this is my question. How do I show the same thing using a format method? Is it possible for me? Yes, I can. How does the format method say? Format method says, write a string. So this is your string. And then this string dot call a method called as format. Method means nothing but a function. Call a method called as format. Now in format, in format, you need to say how you need to format whatever is the string over here. How do you format it? This is what you need to say. Okay, let's see how to do it. So I, I'm going to say over here in print, I'm going to say my, what I wanted to print first, I wanted to print, let's say for now, for now, I'm going to change the format. I'm not going to print it in DDMMYY currently. I'll just say my date. The day that I was born is colon. I just need to say, I need to insert a variable here. That variable, Python says, don't put percent. Put something in curly brackets. Put in curly brackets and say which value you're going to put here. Let's say, for example, I'm going to put here the variables dd, mm, and yy. Okay, dd is going to occupy which position over here? It is occupying the zeroth position. So whatever is the position of the variable that you want to insert here, just put that variable number, that position over here. Day is this. Okay. And then after that, you can just say, okay, day is this. Then I say slash or comma month is what? Month, month is a month colon. Of course, I want the month to be mm, right? Or sorry, I want the first the index one, I want this particular parameter to be displayed and then comma, I can just say year is gonna be colon, I'm gonna say yy, that is the second element. Yes, is this possible to be done? Very much. Let's have a look. Okay, so it says enter the day you were born, 25, month you were born, 1, year you were born 1952 it's just going to return for me day colon 25 comma month colon one year comma 1952 so what if i wanted no i wanted something like this you know this is this is going to be constant over here i wanted the year to be displayed first then i wanted the month and then i wanted the year so can i do like this can i say year is this month is this so the month is going to be which variable the one with the position one so you can understand this print is different you can say it anywhere you want and insert the variable number you know in any particular order it doesn't matter as long as you know that this is zero this is one and this is two so we are going to have let's say the day is going to be colon the zeroth element so again 25 zero one 1952 is that clear okay so it entered it displayed for me the year first the month next and the day third though we did not change anything out here okay hope you are able to understand that yes so you can do that now 
now comes the question sir how do i get the formatting out here so now i want it in the form of ddmmyy right so that means i want the first element that is the zeroth element then i want a slash then i want the first element then i want a slash and then i want the second element okay of course i don't want 1952 but i want modulus of 100 that means i just i want 52 so that's it so if it, is it possible for me to do that so i say 25 01 1952 cool 25 152 hope you understand that how the format method works it just says the zeroth variable it's very easy to understand it it's very clear you don't need to put a lot of lot of unnecessary signs and so on now you can also say the zeroth element the zeroth element you can also say the zeroth element is i can also say colon the zeroth element colon you want what kind of precision okay if i say i want a precision like this 2.2 2.2 d again just like 2.2 d and if i say the second element also i want with the precision of 2.2 d and if i say f5 okay enter the day you were born 25 01 1952 precision not allowed in integer format specifier which means you can't use in integer format specifier you can't allow to be used this 2.2 you understood that so what if i just give 2d is it possible is it possible if i give 2d let's see let's see if it works okay so you have 25 1 952 it says 25 but it didn't put that zero out there it just gave a space 25 Zero one nine fifty two, which means you might have to. Okay, I'll show you another way, but I leave that for later. Okay, where you can put a zero out there, okay, by itself. You can pad it with a zero and you can print it out. Yes, but I leave that for another time. Okay.